leave it in the hands of the Lord. Leave it in the hands of the Lord. Now do what you've been told, good sheep within our loyal fold. Leave it in the hands of the Lord. When James Porter was a seminary student, not even yet ordained as a priest, he molested several boys at Cathedral Catholic Camp. But one brave little soul told on him. He reported it to a priest who was a camp counselor, someone he felt he could really trust. It was hard for him to talk about what Mr. Porter had done. He felt ashamed, so the priest comforted him. Leave it in the hands of the Lord. Leave it in the hands of the Lord. I'll take care of it, you'll see. After all, I am a priest. Leave it in the hands of the Lord. By 1960, Father Porter was at my parish. Now an ordained priest, he abused both boys and girls. When several parents told the pastor, then Bishop Connolly, their response, we won't tolerate this, we'll have to transfer him. At his next two assignments, Porter raped again. So from the New Bedford, the church sent him to New Mexico to mend. But working at churches while in treatment, he molested more altar boys. Then they recommended him to a parish in Minnesota where he did it again. Leave it in the hands of the Lord. Leave it in the hands of the Lord. You must forgive and forget for the good of all. It would be best to leave it in the hands of the Lord. In 1989, I recovered memories of Father Porter in 1962 raping me. I asked the diocese where he was by mail and person and by phone, but Chancellor Monsignor John J. Oliveira told me, and I quote, Leave it in the hands of the Lord. Leave it in the hands of the Lord. Maybe it's a sign, since we won't tell you where to find him. So leave it in the hands of the Lord. Then in May of 1992, Father Porter's case exploded in the news. The Catholic Diocese of Fall River in a press release replied, we are concerned about how this matter has become public. Hmm. Cardinal Bernard Law of Boston spoke out, reacting to a question on the Porter case. He called down the power of God on the news media reporters. He was tired of all this news about raped children. Leave it in the hands of the Lord. Leave it in the hands of the Lord. Though you were forced on your knees to give sex to a priest, leave it in the hands of the Lord. The Vatican Nuncio entered the debate, blaming lack of morals in the United States for corrupting the most holy of men like those priests who were influenced by our culture to molest children. Leave it in the hands of the Lord. Leave it in the hands of the Lord. Now do what you've been told, good sheep within our loyal fold. Just forgive and forget, for the good of all it would be best. Though you were held round the neck for anal rape, drugged it nearly dead. Leave it in the hands, just leave it in the hands of the Lord.